Karthika, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. In this video, I will walk you through how to connect from local machine to an Amazon RDS instance running in a private subnet through the Bastion server in Amazon EC2. You can use this method to connect to the database instance in Amazon RDS or Amazon Aurora or Aurora serverless. To accomplish this, first let's create an EC2 instance which is going to act as an intermediate server. In this set setup, I'll walk you through network security configuration such as security group. For other configuration, you can choose a setting that is more suitable for you. General EC2 instance configuration. Open the Amazon EC2 console. From the console dashboard, choose launch instance. On the choose an Amazon mission image page, select an HVM version of Amazon Linux 2 marked free tier eligible. On the choose an instance type page, select the T2 micro type as this instance type is eligible for the free tier. Choose review and launch to let the wizard complete the other configuration settings for you. EC2 instance Amazon VPC setup. On the review instance launch page, under instance details, you will see the details of your instance. Choose edit instance details. Under network, make sure to select the VPC that is same as your RDS instance VPC. Under subnet, make sure to select the subnet that has internet gateway included in its routing table. Note that the internet gateway can be added even after the creation of the EC2 instance. Then choose review and launch. EC2 instance security group setup. On the review instance launch page, under security groups, you will see that the wizard created and selected a security group for you. Choose edit security groups. Choose add rule and include the below details. The type will be the custom TCP rule, protocol TCP, port range 22, source local mission public IP address. The source IP by default is open to all, but for security purpose, add your particular local public IP address. Then choose review and launch. On the review instance launch page, choose launch. After this setup is done, you can proceed with RDS instance security group setup. Assuming that the RDS instance is already launched, all that's needed here is to add the private IP address of the EC2 instance in the security group of the RDS instance. RDS instance security group setup. Open the Amazon RDS console. From the console dashboard, choose the RDS instance. Under connectivity and security, choose a security group linked. When the security group console opens, choose its desired security group if it is not already selected. Choose inbound, choose add rule and then include the below details. Type custom TCP rule, protocol TCP, port range, port of your RDS instance, source EC2 private IP address. Choose save. This setup on the security group is enough to allow EC2 instance private IP. As long as the EC2 instance VPC is same as the RDS instance VPC, there is no need to edit the routing table that is used by the RDS instance. If the VPC is different between RDS and EC2, then make sure to set up VPC peering to allow connection between those VPCs. Now let's see an example with the MySQL client about how to connect to your RDS instance from local via Bastion server. The method to connect to the RDS instance differ based on the client that you are using. In this example, I am using MySQL Workbench client to show how to connect using the Bastion server. Start a new connection and select standard TCP IP over SSH for connection method. All the SSH details are related to the EC2 instance. SSH host name, public DNS name of the EC2 instance, SSH username enter ec2 hyphen user this is the username for all the ec2 linux mission ssh key file select the private key that is used during the creation of the ec2 instance all mysql details are related to the rds instance mysql hostname rds instance endpoint mysql server port 
3306 or the custom port that you used. Username, enter the master username of the RDS instance. Password, enter the master password of the RDS instance. After entering all the details, choose test connection. When the connection is successful, then enter the connection name. Save this connection for future use. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.